there are four seasons in every man's life listen to me very carefully season number one is the morning stage of your life that is the first 25 years of your life the first 25 years of your life is the morning stage that is the stage where you are permitted to make mistakes and go scot-free that is the stage when you can learn the second stage is called the afternoon stage the next 25 years of your life from 26 years to 50 is the afternoon stage that is the stage of maximum achievement like the sun shines brightest in the afternoon the next stage is called the evening stage of your life that is the stage for legacy where you can turn back and now begin to institutionalize your success and now mentor younger generations coming the next 50 years the next 25 years the last stage of your life is called rest that when you get to that point you should have finished if you utilize the time given to you well by the time you get to the last quarter of your life it should be you just enjoying the faithfulness of god that you can stand and say truly i have poured myself like a drink offering i have fought the good fight can i tell you this do not be deceived that you are young is a deception from the pit of hell from the moment you are conscious of your environment you are matured enough to be responsible in my world maturity is not 18 years in my world maturity is the day you can understand the implication of cause and effect from that day in my world you are matured joash was a king at age eight josiah was a king at age nine there are teenagers around the world changing the world there are young people around the world changing the world shifting systems mentoring governments introducing policies that are bettering the lives of people please let's wake up in the name of jesus when you are an eagle don't fly with birds when you are an eagle pay the price to look for where eagles are even if you don't know how to fly just find where eagles are if you can see other eagles flying you will become what you are seeing are we blessed i had the opportunity a few days ago to speak with a great man that i respect the group managing director of one of the banks in this nation and we're having a conversation with him and he told me he said apostle my concern now is not myself again my concern is not even my generation our generation has failed my concern now i am looking for young men who are serious visionary and we want to see how we can invest in them to see that they rise and become something and i looked at him i said how many young people know that there are billionaires like this who are looking for visionary young men to pour their lives to pour their experiences to pour their pain can i tell you this the elderly have wisdom but they don't have time to correct it again the young people have time but they don't have wisdom to make right decisions it is conferences like this bridge that time and wisdom component make up your mind that in the name of jesus you will be visionary and you start becoming visionary by going to buy a notebook hello if you cannot show me a quality notebook that represents where you are going to i don't take you serious believe me right for these words are faithful and true i have my notebooks today from when i began to walk with god i have all of them every time i go for my end of year retreat i carry them they are not too heavy they have made me what i am i will carry them to the secret place 15 years ago what did you tell me and i see some of these things come to pass lord what are you telling me now for the next 10 years for the next 15 years right for these words are faithful and true get a theme for your life why are you alive summarize your life for me in one sentence what is it about lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me 
to do your will i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day why for the night cometh the night cometh like faith cometh the night cometh when no man will be able to walk again hear me whether you like it or not a day will come you will not have the energy and time and the vibrancy that you have now you see that a dear man of god we're having a conversation and he spoke to me he said ah apostle this is your schedule start paying attention to your health oh. and i said it's true the holy spirit has told me that i should be resting because in my in my wonderful world i forget that time is going and me too i'm making progress and that vibrancy that we started and and the passion of souls and right now god is saying you started early so that you can walk in wisdom you see some of our fathers now they may not have all that energy to travel around but they spend their youthful days building systems are we together you will not always have the time can i tell you this let me can i use you please come my dear come sir this man both of you come watch this please stand here and you stand here watch this do you know let's assume that this lady maybe is a student in a university or when she was a student or when she started out in life she would tell you she had maybe eight hours at that time you can do eight hour stretch you can do certain kinds of meetings with god are we together now this man may have the luxury of time to serve god to do this because there's not much right now but move to their 10 years and let's say this is now a mother with five children do you think you can do eight hour stretch just like that when you need to discuss with your husband now remember at that time it was just you and the holy ghost holy ghost is me and you today and he says you are welcome but now it's not the holy ghost again it's not even your husband again your children don't care that you are going spiritually that's none of their business they didn't ask you to come since you brought them here you take full responsibility for their joy are we together they don't care whether you are going through storms in your life you are the only one who knows what you are going through in the office your children will come and grab you and say daddy let's play let's dance whereas there's fire on the mountain you're about to lose your job tomorrow you need 10 hours with god and your child is crying say don't go and god says stay there because that child is learning what abba means leave your problem when you were on campus i told you generate energy because days will come days will come you will not always have this time if i waited for this level of my life to carry fire i would have gone down since now you have the time nobody knows you go and hide behind that tree you are preparing and gaining stamina for the days ahead madam god has told you you will have five children begin to pray and prepare lay your hands on your womb no stubborn child will come through this womb in the name of jesus i will not give birth to arm robbers I'll wait until the child is collapsing your your bp and then you start running around looking for what to do prayer can enter your future and wait for you there are we together now ask all these people this guy now is a ceo of a company a leader of over four five thousand people the burden of leadership alone he may return back home 11 30 in the night but he's now drawing strength from those days i respond to an average of 500 to 600 text messages every day can you imagine that some of you send text messages and say, Apostle, is it that you are not responding? As I am now, like this. My phone is on flight mode. If it's not on flight mode, it will interrupt this mic. Calls come in an average of one to two minutes in my phone. That is the price. I want to go on a retreat now. I have to find a way to run away. In a way that people will not know. Because if somebody, and sometimes, praise God. Okay, fine we have the sound so don't 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 be distracted do you know sometimes the hotel i want to go and rest now as soon as i get there 
the person sees me and says, thank you jesus sir i've been praying to see you i said ah oh god what in the world is this now i thought i was coming to hide sometimes i'm sitting and the cleaner comes to clean or maybe dress the bed ah, maybe looks at a jotter with my face in a program somewhere and the person is already waiting by evening you hear a knock cap sorry sir don't be offended i clean this place are you apostle joshua sir and he will run and tell his colleagues and call other people in town that's why i stopped snapping with people because they will now snap and put it on social media guess who i met in this city now people start calling and say ah, but apostle you are in this city and i'm aware now did i ever know that it would be a luxury to have time for yourself it's for the journey is far my dear people eat for the journey is very far everybody say vision, vision. one more time say vision. vision so here is a mother with five children and you know in africa it's not only your children that are your children especially if god helps you you are joking you cannot whether you like it or not your neighbor's children are your children too where you come from your family the clan they are your children too so you have all this responsibility just when you want to rest they remind you remember you are the firstborn there is a meeting in the family there are things to resolve somebody has been stealing in the family and your attention is needed you say just tell the person i'll pray for him say no you have to be there while you are doing that they call you and say where are you there's an executive meeting to come while that is happening your wife says you know you are not giving me time it's not fair read your bible the bible says husbands love your wives while you are doing that your children are saying daddy but we've not been seeing you it's not fair while you are doing that they are calling you in church and say sir the committee you are part of this is three weeks meeting you are not there while that is happening all the people you mentor and help are saying sir did we offend you we have been praying to come and visit you your old school fellowship your old school association they are begging to come and you stand in front of the mirror and say should i die and then god says me too i'm waiting oh i've been waiting too listen to me don't just get excited i hope you are getting what i'm teaching listen women will tell you i'm waking you up this night if you plan to have four children spaced within two two years or so do you know you are going to spend about eight to ten years of your marriage just giving birth i'm not talking of raising those you have given birth to just giving birth eight to ten years of your destiny has gone into giving birth if every child leaves your house at 25 and you have four children calculate what your age will be when your last child will be final to leave your house that is if they keep the rules of growth and become responsible early are we together this is a very serious thing i'm waking your eyes to see these are the things that give parents bp and they sit down and say is it that i failed in life i raised five children the the youngest of them is 39 they are all still in my house no vision no growth no nothing and yet the man who said i used to be a missionary god i served you let me tell you you now understand what i mean that without vision the people literally perish so while you keep celebrating christmas after christmas you are growing you are growing time is going oh one day i will i will think about it these stories preachers are saying no problem there were people who had the opportunity that some of us had but they misused their opportunity because they thought opportunities will come every day like that and right now they are in positions that sometimes do you know every time i meet fathers and elderly people the first thing they tell me is apostle we are proud of you for finding god on time please keep that and talk to people and say please find god fast and stay with him find destiny fast and stay with it vision will direct your life vision will take you to the geography of your assignment vision will direct everything in your life vision will even tell you how many children you should have 
are we together now if god tells you you are going to have two boys and two girls and one child of those boys will be a prophet by the time you have two girls and one boy you already know that there's one more coming if there's no fighting and there's no discussion you already know because god said the second child male child will be a prophet and so you trust him to finance all the children and bless them they will not be a load to you do you know there are certain assignments that when you have god goes as far as telling you how many children you can have it's his recommendation you can disobey but based on the burden of that assignment he tells you this is the number for your efficiency i pray for you may god open your eyes tonight to the matters of your destiny look at me i see a number of us here and i know that a number of us here may probably be students or just be those who just finished can i tell you i use the example of this great woman of god here and i'm challenging you the time you have today you will not have tomorrow again somebody called me after one month of marriage he says tired i say you are joking you are joking uh, where are you going i mean you are a christian you stay there the bible says you will stay there i said why you know just felt her life her everything her life is scattered the man is ungrateful she didn't know he was like this wouldn't have. i said look just flog it out you will it will work just take it easy learn forgive yourself say i'm sorry as many times you just keep moving because i tell you she wanted her yesterday and the convenience of it but she didn't know it's gone forever you cook breakfast before he's done eating you are thinking lunch before he's done eating all the visitors come you are thinking dinner and may god help you that you're a man of god's wife just when you are having an emergency meeting happens in the house there are times you will look for mattress and turn your parlor into a bedroom turn the other room into a bedroom you will sit down in the kitchen as if you are cooking and that's where you sleep it's the sacrifice of destiny you must be visionary you must be visionary you must be visionary in the name of jesus christ please enter a covenant with your destiny tonight that as far as my destiny is concerned i will be intentional about it don't mind people who will tell you don't listen to preachers they are just talking nonsense they will not be there 30 years added to your age today many of them would fail some will be in prisons many of them do you know something some of these people who mislead you they will repent later on and meet somebody to pray for them for mercy and while they are rearranging their life you are there suffering the confusion of their error vision 